Good morning, guys. It is uh, December 3rd. We're going up to Copper. We're checking out what's going on for their 50th anniversary. We're gonna meet up with some friends, my buddy Luke uh, and Brandon and Ashley from last episode. Uh, I skipped Thanksgiving weekend, just chilled, took some time to reset, that's always important. But right now, we're about to get this party started, so let's get up to Copper. Stopped at the uh, Woolly Mammoth lot. I got a, uh, my car was like, you gotta close the gas lid. Turns out it was true. It was open, I had no idea. But we're about to get on I-70, which is right behind me. Sun's coming up. Traffic's already getting really busy. This is why you leave early from the front range. You gotta do that so you don't get totally slammed. Hopefully, we'll keep having a smooth drive. Let's go. to copper guys met this cool guy next to me named Zach he's a rep for this this Boston company that owns like uh, all sorts of like beer companies dogfish head he gave me some shades he gave me uh, some beanies here oh god I can't show you but uh, it's a good start to the day came up to the chapel I got free parking too so stoked to get up on the mountain all right, I'm up at the top of, I forget what this lift is. It's the mid-mountain lift that goes up to the top of Ptarmigan. The Super B is closed. Uh, it's open only to racers right now. The T-bar over there is actually open. So we're gonna go check that out later, but we're waiting for the homies to funnel in. So let's go run it down Ptarmigan. I'm gonna run back down Tarmigan because I don't want to film on this.
All right, lift lines. Lift lines starting to get a little longer. I'm waiting for my buddy Zach. I didn't want to go down a mogul run with the camera. Um, snow conditions, pretty soft. Um, if it's steep, it's a little icy, but it's pretty good other than that. Um, we'll see what happens when we go up the T-Bar and uh, we'll tune in from there. Going up the T-Bar right now. Gonna go try and make our way over to the right side of the mountain. We're chilling. The lift lines aren't too bad. The uh, Super B opened up after the racers were on it, so that's good. I don't know if you can ski back down to it or not. It looks like it. Um, we're gonna try and make our way maybe over to Rendezvous, Timberline. I don't wanna go all the way down to the bottom of the flyer because I think it's gonna be really busy. But uh, we're about to check it out. All right, I'm up at the top of the T-Bar. We just got up here. I thought the traverse might be open, but it's not. Um, we're gonna see how far over to the side we can cut from here, but I'll give you guys a rundown. Hallelujah Ridge, still bony. Um, but let's go make our way over to the right side of the mountain and see what we can do. Looks like we'll have to uh, maybe get back there and try and take easy way over. If not, then we'll try and go over to the flyer, see what happens. Terrain is, the snow's not bad. It's just a bunch of really 
thin patches like that. Um, and a bunch of un unorganized moguls. Definitely here in the rocks under the skis. Take a look at this terrain though. Once we get some snow, that's gonna be awesome. mountain terrain park right here. Little bit of a flat section there. I think we're on easy road right now. But we should be able to cut over to some slightly better terrain. Right now we just enjoying the scenery. Nice, looks like Okay, another section of skating I'm gonna turn the camera off go down this All right, we made it to the end of the uh the deal here. This little catwalk. You probably could cut over earlier through the woods. It's all roped off. As you can see, oh, we're just gonna maybe duck this one rope here and then kind of keep going and keep trying to go hard uh, skiers left. See what we can do with it. All right.
Oh, that's a nice soft, good soft snow there. Gorgeous views. All right, did a little cut. Put us up in some nobles here. Nice, not too bad. The snows are good and soft over here. Gonna keep on cutting as hard left as I can. This is a little whoop, whoop. Okay, that's the flyer right there. Oh, okay. This looks like fun. Let's go to the train park. Nice, I think this will get us all the way to the Woodward Express. Jump line over there. Big tube, single bar, medium tube, a little down flat down, another down flat down. A down down. There's like a down with a little donkey at the end. Some rainbow stuff. A little wall. A little flat up. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna go enjoy this without the camera, so. Okay. Yeah, we just hit the park. A lot of really nice features. The rails are the rails are great. Um most of them are pretty fat. They do have this really cool zigzag rail. It's a smaller single barrel over there. It is actually pretty sick. Um and now we're gonna go ride over to the Woodward Express. I don't wanna get on the flyer right now, so let's go do that. Coaster of track in the distance. Alright, there's the Ordered Express right there. We're about to hop on that. Ugh. fresh snow on the sides. Looks like good load of snow over there. And there's the Woodward Express. The line here is actually not too bad. I'm gonna go stop in the in the day lodge for a little bathroom break first, but We'll head up there and then see what's good. All right, we're here at the um, lift line of the Timber Timber Line. Timber, what's Sounds, this called? Sounds right, Timber. The timber something. Timber something. The line's okay. It's kind of long. Um, the runs that funnel here, are like they're pretty flat, but the snow is good. It's soft, uh, super wavy. 
So, uh, you know, so-so. Uh, but good, soft snow. As the season kind of moves along, I think it'll be, I think it'll be a little better. Brandon finally got here, which is good. Um, I might film this run. I might not. I've just been enjoying skiing, so we'll see. All right, we made it over from the Timberline to the lift next to the rendezvous. I think it's called the Solitude. Is it? I think. I don't know. So now we're heading up the highest uh, that we've been today, besides the Palma lift, which is over there in the distance and you can't ski any of that train because it's super bare. Um, it looks relatively soft but super patchy, pretty much like everything else on the mountain. Um, over here to the right hand side there are some good ropes to be ducked but you should be careful. If you can see there, there is a lot of exposed rock so obviously that's why. You should be careful if you're ducking ropes, which I don't condone. I definitely didn't do it, but if I did, it was awesome. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go check this out. Uh, again, once again, I'm probably gonna enjoy just skiing the run because I've just been filming all day, but I'll show you guys this chair ride and you can watch the other people ski. Yeah, this little roller right here, when it gets uh, prime winter time, you can fucking send oh, yeah. it. Totally. Yeah. Good little jump line there. Dude, what's up with all these fucking no pole gapers? Like... Well, I mean, you gotta have one hand to hold the Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> well, like the guy that we like almost ran into on the on this run. Yeah. What's up with that dude? Like. Oh, I didn't realize he had no poles. And he had like Powskis on he too. He had Powskis, he was fucking backseat Jesus. Like, terrible skier, but he thought he was cool. A bit weird, for sure. You guys uh, in the chat there, if you ride Powskis with no poles, uh, drop me in the comments why you do it. Yeah, I'd love to understand. Um, so If the reason's not good enough, I'll make fun of you. <laughs> right. He... No, no poles started from... Skiing crazy park. motherfuckers doing tricks. In the park, yeah. Like, it was a safety issue. And now all these gapers think it's cool. Right. It drives me nuts. Oh my gosh. It would be so nice to come down this run. Look at Dude. this, guys. So this has basically just been kind of hashed out by Ski Patrol to kind of prevent any um, inbound slides. Um, which I, I get it. The terrain here is, um, you know, it's pretty steep. I could see it. Um, it wouldn't be that big of a slide. Nobody would get hurt. Ski Patrol would be here in a second. So I say area. let it slide. Um, you know, let nature run its course. We got Ski Patrol up here. They're Looks like uh, sure. this might be some sort of uh, avalanche training going on right here. We're unsure. But honestly, actually, as we're riding up this, this is um, uh, this is one of the um, higher lifts on the mountain, and uh, this bowl right here is just the the air is calm. Like I don't know if you can see the snow falling right now, but it just got it's it's not really moving to any side. It's quiet. He's um, here. Look, he's waving his hand. His hand's probably going numb from patrolling. How's it looking, boys? Yo, what are you fellas doing? No, they don't even care. They don't give a shit. <sighs> well, we tried. We tried to interact with them. Well, Let's get a look at the, uh, the bowl over here. One here, so he thinks he's cool. Um... So terrain here up towards the top, as you can see, super bony. I don't think that's gonna open up unless we get another two foot. Um, there's the rendezvous over there. So I'm glad we actually took this lift. And um, once again, we're just gonna enjoy the turns. It's nothing really special. Um, so, uh, 
you know, I'll, I'll catch up with you on the next one. Yeet. Yeah. All right, guys. So uh, we did we did that run off of uh, solitude, and uh, and it was okay. If you try and get back to solitude from from the top, it actually kind of puts you out back at the top of the timber line. So it's a little more confusing. So now we're going up rendezvous to see if we can kind of get back to this section where we were kind of further down there. Um, the terrain here, honestly, like if you got some beginner friends, if you can get them up to this part of the mountain, it's actually probably a pretty friendly space to be without having a bunch of lift lines. Yeah, challenge them just so, a little bit. And, right. Yeah. Yeah, I would, um, I would actually definitely recommend this spot for, for beginners at this part of the season right now, just because it's, it's chill, there's a lot of space. As you can see, you look around, just, you know, the terrain might not be super great, but it's, it's open and you can take your time and, oh, you dropped oh. your glove. Okay, this kid just dropped his glove right there. That's, that's too bad. Um, but we're gonna go, we're gonna go up this and maybe uh, come come up it again. Uh, yep. Okay, so it was a good day. It was a long day, um, but the conditions were good. The snow was actually pleasurably soft. Um, copper is like pretty flat where we're at right now. Um, the crowds are also like so so. I'd say 8 out of 10 experience um, overall, but the snow is, is worth going up there. Once we get another foot too, I can imagine they'll open up a whole bunch more of the mountain. The terrain park is obviously super good, so if you're a park rat, that's probably where you want to be right now. Uh, they got jumps, they got great rails, uh, and the lift that services them right now is, is not crowded, so that's kind of a blessing. Uh, Yep, I think I'm going up to Winter Park next week to go check out the opening of the Jane side, which happened this last Friday. And uh, hopefully I'll have my GoPro by then. So the skiing footage, I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit better. But either way, thanks for tuning in, guys. And if you enjoyed the content, like and subscribe. See you next week.